So this is the glue stick that's a little different. See it? So this is what I got for the younger kids only because it says that it's washable. Before we get into this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello, Candy Toys here and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be doing something a little special and different. We're going to be doing a school supply haul. So this haul is from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be showing you everything I picked up for my four children from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's one of those videos where you'll be able to see what they have uh, now and um, be able to see how you can save money just by going to the Dollar Tree to get all or most of your school supplies. So let's get started. So what I am going to do is I'm going to be back and I'm going to present all of the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are back. And what I've done was to set everything up so that you can see the total haul. I do have a few more items, but they're duplicates, so I didn't bother putting those up here. But I just wanted to see, let you know or let you see how much money you can save by picking up a lot of your basic school supply items from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've shopped at Walmart, Target, and Amazon a few times to get all of these items and have paid sometimes two, three, and four times as much money when you can get the same basic items from the Dollar Tree, especially if you have, you know, quite a few kids to get supplies for. Um, even though my kids are being homeschooled, uh, I know a lot of the kids are homeschooled this year, but you still need these basic supplies, or at least I felt like I did if I'm going to be teaching them at home or helping to teach them at home. And just so that they can have some kind of uh, stability and feel like they're still in class. I like to kind of keep that atmosphere at home. So shopping at the Dollar Tree saves a ton of money. I still go to Amazon and um, order like, you know, supplies that I want a higher quality in and things like that. But for all these basic items, you'll be surprised that the quality is pretty much the same, okay? So let's go ahead and show you some of the things that I was able to get so over here which is out of view I was able to pick up this pencil or not this pencil but this stapler and I got it it's in red and blue so I've gotten two of these and these are for my older kids my high schoolers and then I also was able to get the staples that goes with them so I got those and also out of view I was able to pick up these index dividers and these go inside of the binders and I picked up four of these for each of the kids but I have two here so the, these are pretty good because your kids are going to need these I like um, for my kids to keep all of their subjects separated especially my high schoolers I have high schoolers and I have um, elementary school so this, these are really good when it comes to candy but I get good enough getting up for these so that I can keep all of their stuff organized and the other things that I was able to get are these folders you never know if you're going to have book reports although you know being homeschooled you don't need to turn anything in everything is digital it's still kind of nice to be able to write all your stuff out ahead of time you know um kind of the old-fashioned way so that you can have it and you can put other things in here too so I picked up four of these actually it was a pack I have two packs and inside each pack were three okay and then the other thing so I'll get some of this stuff out of the way as I show you just so that you can have some room over here but the other things that um, I was able to pick up 
are the sheet protectors. And these are really great to keep your kids' uh, homework or projects protected, kind of like what laminates used to do. So you can put your kids' projects in here. And each pack of these are 16. And I got two packs of these. So those are the sheet protectors. And I'll be using this for all of my kids. What I do for the high schoolers is I separate all of their school supplies and then um, so they keep theirs. And I got a little um, case for them to store all their school supplies. The other thing that I was able to pick up is, you know, um, you always need pencils to write things out. So I was able to get uh, four of these actually, but this is two of them. So these are just basic pencils. They're not sharpened, but I did pick up some pencil sharpeners. I'll be showing you that. So let's put those away. And then I got chalk. Um, I do have some chalkboards, some little basic chalkboards. I'll show you. I have two little chalkboards. These are just small little chalkboards. You can write out things, little notes, keep reminders. I will be doing a chalkboard video. I have another chalkboard that did not come from the Dollar Tree. It came from Amazon, and I'll be doing a review on that. So take keep a lookout for that. It'll be a little later on, but. Yeah, so two chalkboards, and I got chalk, and this is really good chalk, so it's Crayola, which is a good brand, and that's at the Dollar Tree, and it's multicolor, so that's pretty cute. So yeah, those are the chalkboards, and um, the chalk, the other thing I was able to get are highlighters, you know, when you're reading, reading books, you definitely always need highlighters, especially for the older kids, so I got two packs of those. And then, let's see, I got these glue sticks. Now, I got um, these glue sticks. There's two of them. I got these for the older kids. But I was able to pick up another kind of glue stick. I'll show you. And I hadn't seen these before, so I thought it was kind of cute. But yeah, these are just basic glue sticks right here. You can need those for project. So I have the little supply bag already separated. And I can show you this. These are different for my, my younger kids. So this is, I picked these up too. So this one is clear. Um, and I'll show you the other ones I got for the older kids. So this is the glue stick. That's a little different. See it? So this is what I got for the younger kids only because it says that it's washable. So this is washable glue stick. So I figured that's good for the younger kids. Okay, so I got two of those. And then um, I got these little scissors. These are the little ones for the little kids. And then I got the big ones for the older kids, which I'll be showing you those later. And then I got like a pack of erasers, so they each have those. And then these are the pencil sharpeners that we got. And these pencil sharpeners have an eraser built into it, so that's pretty cute. And I got uh, four of those. Okay, so I'm gonna put this bag back, and this also came from the Dollar Tree, which is really nice. So that's the younger kid. So I'm gonna put that one back so we can finish up here. I got these notebooks for each of the kids. And these are spiral notebooks, and those are always a must for the school year. And just basic binder paper. I got two of these, which you see are the, um, the college rule. So I got two of those. These ones again are for the older kids. And then I managed to get the, the, the wider rule. See that one? This one? This is like the wider rule. I was I managed to get this for the younger ones. So I got four and all. And of course, I don't need to tell you how much all of this stuff costs because you know it all costs a dollar each plus tax. So that's it, please. And then I got crayons. Um, my older, my older boys don't, you know, really need crayons, um, but sometimes a project calls for it. So I've managed to pick up four packs of these, and this is two of them, and these are 48 crayons for a dollar, so you really can't beat that. And then, 
I got colored pencils, and I managed to pick up four of these again. Four packs of uh, colored pencils, they're 10 each, and these are really nice, so those are there. And then the older boys for math, they need the compasses with it, and these came with the protractor. So I thought I was gonna have to get the protractor separately, but I didn't. And so I got two of these in two different colors, okay? And then I got this little desk organizer, or actually for the pins, um, for their desk, because I got them desk and I got them backgrounds and things like that um, for, for school, since everything's homeschooled. I managed to pick this up, which was really nice. I was looking for the paper bins, but they didn't have those, so I'm going to have to find those someplace else, but I thought this was really nice. And I got two of these. So stuff out but yeah I've got two of these so that was really nice okay, put those away. and then I have um, this is one pack of pins but I did manage to get um, I bought two packs of pins that were separated so inside of these bags there are more pins and then there was some of the erasers and the puncture sharpeners again so that's where the rest of the pins are and again these came from the dollar too. So that's a red one, and then this is a blue one, and this is just so that they can keep their pins and their uh, erasers and all of those little small things organized in here. And then, you know, they snap right into your binder, so that's really nice. And it's really good quality for this to come from the Dollar Tree. You don't need to spend all that money getting little basic things like this. Plus, you know, the good thing is this year... There's not really any competition with the other kids and what kind of school supplies they have. This is just for you to use at home while your kids are being um, homeschooled. So, or during their, doing their virtual learning. So yeah, that goes. And then, I was able to pick up some rulers. Now, these come in a pack of three each. So I have a total of six rulers, and this is for each of the kids. And then these scissors are for the older kids. I showed you the, the ones for the younger, and these are for the older kids. So I have two of these, two of the smaller ones that I showed you earlier. And then glue. Cannot go wrong with this for a dollar. And I managed to pick up four of these. So that's four glues, one for each kid. So we can through all of this. <laughs> and these here are dry erase board markers really really cute and I think a really good deal for the price and these are dry erase boards so they're, they're cute because they're handheld you can hold on to these and um, write whatever you want erase it and maybe you show your teacher on the computer let's do this so if the teacher asks you a question you can write on here and show them on the computer and then he's like that's right because in class they have a little button where you can raise your hand and all that but imagine just writing it on there holding this paddle and showing them and also you can do the same thing with those chalkboards I showed you earlier Okay, so these are the, the, the markers. Really good. And I'm going to go ahead and put those away. And then these are just basic markers. Now, again, these are mostly for the younger kids, but the older kids will probably need these for some projects, too. So you never know. And then just outside of school, just to keep them occupied, it's really good to just do projects with your kids anyway, especially if they're being quarantined they can't really go out. And since these binders want to make an entrance, let me show you these. So I end up picking up four of these, and they're really nice wide to binders. Green binder, and these are the 1.5s. So you can put your dividers in here, that's the ones that I showed you earlier. You can go ahead and put those in there and organize everything. And, and it even has some little pouches so that you can keep subjects in here and stuff. So I really, really like these. It's surprising to find these kind of quality here. So, um, so those are binders, and I got picked up four of those. I also picked up some um, file folders because you just never know what you're going to need these for and keep things organized in those. So these are just some manila file folders. These happen to be um, the legal size. 
but I thought that was cool to be able to get those. So a lot of stuff I got in this haul. Now this is just basic construction paper. Um, you know, the construction paper that you need to cut off things, especially for the younger kids. They have lots of little projects like this. So I got this construction paper and I managed to pick up two of these. So I think that's it with my haul. I do have more stuff, I told you, but it's all duplicate, so I didn't bother to leave all of that up here. But I hope you have enjoyed this. I know in these tough times, people, you know, parents need to save money, so I thought, why not show you guys the haul that I usually do every year? Now, again, if I can't find items at the Dollar Tree or if there are items that I want at better quality, I still order from Amazon to fill in, maybe Walmart, maybe Target. But just overall, if you have, you know, more than one kid, this will really save you, like, you know, some money. Even one kid will save you some money. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And to share this video with all of those you think may be interested in it. And we will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Well, that is it. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.